The board has the sad responsibility of finding an interim replacement for Dr. Kopp and then looking for a permanent replacement for his position as president and CEO of Marshall University. We looked at um, and discussed several options and the executive committee of the Board of Governors will be charged in vetting uh, the interim appointments, bringing the recommendation then to the full board and then that recommendation will go to the Higher Education Policy Commission for final authorization. In the past, how long does it generally take to come up uh, with a finalized decision on an interim? An interim appointment, uh, we're hopeful if, um, uh, un unless we decide to go to a, a national search firm for that, but if we can find a local available candidate, then we'd hope to have something available in, in the next 30 to 60 days. So not before school starts up again? Probably not, but our hope is to move as quickly as possible on this. So if we can, if we can vet an appropriate candidate that we feel um, reflects the mission and values of Marshall University, then we'll bring that candidate on, as I said, as quickly as possible. And in the meantime, talk about, is it an executive mm -hmm. committee that's kind of in charge? No, the, uh, the Board of Governors is charged with the responsibility of the university, and we delegate that responsibility to the president and CEO. In the absence of a president, then the board is delegating that responsibility to the senior vice presidents and the official administrative cabinet of the university for day-to-day -day activities. If there is an issue that involves more than the authority level for the VPs, then it would come back to the, to the full board and my role as chairman of the board. And then the next step, what's the kind of next meeting planned or where do we go? Well, the next step will be to uh, put together a list of acceptable candidates for the interim process. And as I indicated, the executive committee will vet those candidates before making a recommendation to the full board. And at the same time, uh, we'll put together a list of national search firms for the permanent replacement for the president of Marshall University. So 30 to 60 days um, to have uh, an interim president authorized? At the very outside. Okay. We would hope for a much, much quicker turnaround on the interim president position. And for the permanent position, in your experience? Uh, Probably six to nine months is, uh, is a normal um, uh, recruiting time for a position in a university of, of this complexity. What other um, boards uh, have you been on? Have you been um, uh, at other institutions? Have you had um, situations like this before where you had to suddenly um, make these kinds of choices? I have, not on a higher education board, but I've been on uh, other both public and private boards where uh, search firms have been appointed and we've looked for um, uh, a permanent uh, chief executive officer. And again, it depends on the, the size, the scope, the complexity of the organization. Marshall University is not only a great institution, but it's a very complex institution, and it will take a, an experienced executive, uh, in my view, to, uh, uh, to come in and, and take up the leadership challenge. Can you describe the mood or feeling of the uh, room in here today? Uh, shocked, um, very sad. Um, as I indicated to the board, we were uh, here in official session just yesterday uh, talking about the future of Marshall, talking about the advantages we have, the, um, uh, the challenges that we have, the progress that's been made under the leadership of Dr. Kopp, uh, and then also, you know, talking about, again, the, talking about the future. And today, you know, literally 24 hours later, we're we're having the sad task of finding um, uh, new leadership to take on that mission and that goal to serve this community, to serve the students, and to serve West Virginia. Do you recall or will you recall one uh, particular thing or idea that you brought up at the meeting? Well, we talked a lot about um, long-term funding. This is a state institution 
and higher education or, or funding for, the, uh, for higher education is a very important issue. Higher education for uh, funding has been cut over the past three years and it's a, it's a concern as, as the legislature begins uh, deliberations next month to look at the overall budget issues. Is this a setback in that regard? I mean, it could I, I, take a while to have a permanent president. With well, I think, I, I think in terms of the leadership of Marshall, um, it's clearly a setback. Dr. Kopp was a visionary in higher education, and his loss will be reflective of this institution for a long time, as his accomplishments. You know, all you have to do is look around campus and look at the legacy that this man uh, has, has left. And it will be a legacy that will affect generations in this community.